Hey, uh, my name is Jonathan Russell Anelli. I'm a soil scientist at Cornell University. And today we're going to start doing the prep for uh, what I'm calling soda bottle uh, soil science. Um, and what I got up here, I'll show you this underneath the screen here. This is a materials list that you're going to be needing over the next six to seven weeks. Um, and uh, we're actually going to do the first part of the lab today. I'm going to talk about the materials that you need for today. Uh, the first thing is you're going to need two soda bottles. Uh, these are two liter soda bottles. Uh, I've taken the tops off of them and basically emptied them. I've cleaned them out and then I've dried them. I've also taken the labels off. Uh, you can see I can still have some of the residual from the label, but that's okay because we're going to put some tape over that anyway. Um, so you need those two things. You're also going to need some cheesecloth or some sort of fabric because uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to clog the bottom of these. Uh, that's another thing that we're going to need. You're also going to need some soil. Now these are soils for my, uh, I've got two of these. Uh, this is some soil from one of my raised beds um, that I grow vegetables in and it's pretty much a sandy mix with a, a high level organic matter. I'd say it's probably a sandy loam uh, with organic matter. You're going to need that. Um, you're going to need a piece of tape doesn't matter what color tape it is, any kind of tape. You need some Sharpies. Uh, you're also going to want to have uh, some scissors. And you're going to want to have some sort of uh, uh, cutting instrument. Now, I've got a, a, a mat knife here, but I also have a... Some, you're not making a jailbreak here, but I also have a hacksaw. Uh, and then you're going to need a series of rulers or tape measures or something like that so that uh, we can do some measuring. You're also, if you want to, rather than using tape, you can also use like an emery board or a file to basically scratch marks for uh, depth on your water bottles. Um, and so that's basically all the things that you need to start um, building the uh, sort of the, 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 the planters that we're going to be using for the soil science. Uh, so let me slide this stuff out of the way. The materials list will be online so that you guys can get it. Um, I'm going to slide that over here for now. Um, this is the lab sequence for what we're going to be doing. Um, it's basically seven steps. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the first one is basically going to be labeling the lab. Before we cut up labeling the lab, how about labeling the bottle? Um, before we uh, start cutting anything, we're actually going to measure stuff and tape stuff out um, so that when we do cut, we cut in the right spot. But there is a benefit actually to have this container with the top still on because when you squeeze it, you can still put some pressure on it. And so if you wanted to do some drawing on it or stuff like that, it's so much easier to have this pressure still inside the bottle. Uh, we've got two different bottles. We're going to do two different types of measuring and some cutting that's associated with it. Once we're done with that, what we're going to do is we're actually going to, after we're going to basically cut one of these, we're going to basically pack the, the tip with, uh, I'm going to use cheesecloth um, to basically prevent soil from falling out of it. Um, so let's start with uh, doing the measuring and then we'll do the cutting. Okay, so you have two bottles here. We're going to start with bottle number one. I'm going to take a tape measure or a Sharpie or uh, not a Sharpie, tape measure or a ruler. I'm going to actually going to use this ruler. Uh, basically, I'm going to lay it down. Actually, it's a little bit too long, I think. Maybe we'll do this with the other ruler. Lay this out. I don't know if you guys can see this, um, but the red marks are basically metric. Um, should have thought of this out before we started. And what you want to do with the first bottle is you want to start the zero mark at the top of the bottle. And then with a Sharpie, you can sort of, because it's clear, you can sort of see through it, just sort of estimate through to where. Uh, Line it up perfectly here. Make sure I'm not in the screen so you guys can actually see it. So basically mark this at 10 centimeters, at 20 centimeters. This actually happens to be about 25 right there. And then you want 15 centimeters as well. Um, those marks are key, okay? Um, and then the top mark, this at 25 centimeters, what you're gonna wanna do is draw this all the way around. Okay, and I'm gonna use a thicker Sharpie for this because this is actually where you're gonna do your cut. Do this all the way around. And as I have said many times to many people, I am not the greatest artist in the world. So just sort of bear with me here. Draw this across, draw this across. Now the first cut is pretty critical um, 
and I don't actually use a scissors for the first cut. Uh, I often use a mat knife, or uh, and you can also use a hacksaw, and basically what you're gonna do is just create a, a cut right at the beginning. Uh, we'll do this one with a hacksaw, we'll do the next one with, the sharp, uh, with a, the mat knife. You just basically start a cut, using that seam right there, and once you've got it through, you can actually get your scissors in now without bending or deforming the plastic. And then you just basically snip your way around the soda bottle. Now, isn't this exciting watching me cut a soda bottle? It's one of the highlights of your day, I'm sure. So cut it again. Okay. And so you should have a bottle that looks something like this. Now, um, with wear and tear, these Sharpie marks are going to come off. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a piece of tape on this. Um, lay out a piece of tape. You can find the tip end. Peel it open. Slowly but surely, it will come. I'm going to create a cut here so it's a clean end. Basically just spread this out on the table. Use your mark of a ruler or a yardstick or whatever it happens to be that you want to use. Lay the zero mark down. And basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be running this tape from here to here. So you have basically from the 15 centimeter mark up to the 25 centimeter mark marked at centimeter gradients. And so let's imagine we're going to start our zero mark right here. So this would be, uh, and every five centimeters, make our legs a little bit easier. Okay. So this would be 15 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 25 centimeters. Uh, to make our legs a little bit easier, it might also be worthwhile putting in the individual centimeter marks just to make it easier for us to read the gradient. All right, so then you have your 10 centimeters in there. Now to make this really nice and pretty, I'm just gonna sort of cut this end off. I'm gonna cut this end off. Take the piece out from the middle. I'm gonna line up my 15 centimeter mark on my 15 centimeter mark here. And there I've got my graticule, okay? Now what's gonna happen ultimately is we're gonna pack the end here and you're gonna fill in soil on this end. This part we're actually gonna be using to fill water with so we know how much water we're putting into the volume at any given time. And we'll be using this later for two things. One is we'll figure out what the infiltration rate is into our soil, but we'll also be using this to give us a calculation about what the volumetric water is as well. Now it's key that we wanna keep on the piece that I, this sort of the tail end of this, you wanna keep this because we're gonna be using this for later in the, uh, the semester. So there's our first bottle, pretty straightforward. We're gonna do the same thing with the second bottle, uh, but the measurements are gonna be slightly different. With bottle two, you're basically gonna be measuring from the base every, uh, up to 15 centimeters, okay? So from that base, and we'll use this thing again, nice measure. Sort of seeing through the, the, through the plastic, this is at five, this is at 10, and this is approximately 15 right there, okay? So five, 10, 15, 15 happens to be where we're gonna be cutting on this one. So again, I'm gonna use the big thicker. Th okay, because I did not have the guide of this sort of the collar on the first one, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with measuring where this one goes. Make sure I stick with 15. OK, 
Okay, and then that's where I'm actually gonna be cutting. This time I use the mat knife. Again, I've got this sealed, so yes, it squeezes a little bit, but there's enough pressure. And when I put this mat knife in, it should just sort of cut very nicely in there. Nice enough to actually be able to get our scissors in. And we do the same cut. Again, isn't this the most exciting part of your day? If it isn't, you've got a better life than I do at the moment. And that is actually not true. But we'll just call that witty banter. That last piece cut. There we go. Okay. Nice and clean, you've got your marks there. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the tape this time. Uh, this one's probably not long enough. I was hoping it was gonna be long enough. Uh, basically, you wanna have 15 centimeters of tape, or thereabouts. Nice clean ends again. Lay it down, put your ruler over it. Zero mark. Five mark, the ten mark, fifteen mark, and then every one centimeter inside. Okay, and then this would be uh, would be my zero. This is actually going to be on the bottom, so you're really not going to see that one. Five, ten, fifteen. Take my knife, I'm just gonna clean this off a little bit just so we have a nicer piece there. Okay, this. Now this time I think you probably should line it up from the top. Try to find where, where one of these lobes are to make your life a little bit easier. Uh, line the 15 at the top. And then work your way down. Um, you'll notice that my five is slightly off there and that's why we use the tape. The zero pretty much is at the bottom though. And so now I have a volumetric flask, um, at least measurement wise. We'll have to calculate, and we're gonna do that in a few moments. We're actually gonna calculate how much volume is in this given vol uh, in this container. We're also gonna do the same thing for this one because ultimately what we wanna do is calculate bulk density. And for bulk density, we actually have to have a volume, okay? Um, and so there are our first two pieces of uh, tools that we're gonna be using. Now, this one's pretty critical to keep because it will basically be the stand for this one, okay? Um, when we start pouring water in here and we want it to come out, you want it to come out and be able to be measured. So you're gonna use these, so we're gonna nest them inside of each other to hold on to the water as it comes out, okay? So hang on to those two, set those aside. You're also going to keep these two for later on in the, in, in the semester. We're going to be using these for some more experiments. So I'll set those aside for now. Okay, so the next thing, uh, and I'm going to set, actually set this one aside for now as well. But the next thing that you need to do is you need to pack the base. Now, this is sequentially, you don't necessarily need to do this one next, but just to make it easy while this is not wet, it's easier to sort of hold this out, balance it, I'm going to use cheesecloth, you can use paper, you could use any kind of fabric. Uh, if worse comes to worse, you can probably use paper, uh, just sort of paper, loose paper. Um, cotton is actually a really good one as well. I'm just going to cut some of this. You don't have to be really uh, neat and clean. And basically what you're going to do is take this piece and you're going to wedge it down into the bottom. Keep it nice and tight down there. Um, and what this will do is, uh, when we take the cap off to move water through it, it will prevent the soil from falling out like a funnel, but it will still allow the water to come out, if that makes sense to everybody, okay? So that's the, sort of the last part of the bottle prep that we need to do. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually, uh, and I forgot to actually get this. So I got some water, and what we're gonna do next is basically fill this volume to the 15 and then we're we'll fill it up and then what I do have is some graduated cylinders over here. Um, you don't, if you don't have graduated cylinders, that's fine. Uh, basically to have any kind of container that has a volume, we can use that and we can use that to figure out what uh, the volume is of this part of the cylinder. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do, 
You're gonna pour the water into this, make sure the tap, the cap is closed. Okay, you're basically gonna fill this up to the 15 centimeter mark. A little bit more. Is there? Right there. So we got a nice 15 centimeter mark. So I'll slide it over there so you can see it. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour this into this graduated cylinder so we can have a known volume. And then we'll basically just mark it down and hopefully I don't spill any. Now let's pour it in. that sit for a moment. Okay, and then on the blackboard, right behind me, what I'm gonna do is the 15 centimeter mark for this, and you can basically put this on any piece of paper at the 15 centimeter mark. That equals, slide this over, basically equals 857 uh, milliliters. Okay, so 850 milliliters. That will be our volume when we do the bulk density, keep that in mind. Now the next thing I need to do um, is basically fill this guy back up and what we're gonna do is fill it by every centimeter mark so that we know what each centimeter is. Now this is a cylinder, so the first centimeter should basically be, because we're not, we don't have any funnel part of this, so the first centimeter should basically be the same as the second and third, but let's try it out just to make sure we're not making a mistake anywhere. So I'm gonna pour this water back into the container Bring it back up to that 15 centimeter mark. Okay, hang on to that. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is basically add water up to that first mark. Sort of make sure that this is somewhat level. It's about right. Okay, so at uh, 16 centimeters. Let's see what we get. centimeters we are at 900 and I'd say 20 milliliters you guys can take a look at that I'm gonna say 920 so we had a gain of about 70 milliliters in there uh, we just have enough to do one more centimeter with this graduated cylinder so let's give it a shot see what we get out of this we'll try one more and hopefully that's a 70 centimeter break for the next one here so like this you guys can see. Again make sure this is somewhat level. It's soda bottle size so it's not going to be perfect. Bring up to another centimeter. It's about right. Bring this back in. Funnel so we don't lose any. Take this back up and hopefully we have less than a thousand mls here. If not, we're gonna have to go to another graduated cylinder. I have a little bit left. We're at about a thousand there. So this is not a good sign. That means we're gonna have to do every single one of these because it seems like it's off by just a little bit. And I'm looking at 15, so we're looking at 1,015 chalk, so it's 17 centimeters, 1,000, about 1,000, 1, 5. So there we're looking at a 75 centimeter jump. So it's approximate, it's not perfect. 
Uh, let's do one more just to make sure that we're not too far off with these numbers. These guys back in. This one back in. sure again that it's approximately level and uh, pour it in again. I suspect the error here is not with the bottle but is actually with my marks. But it is an approximate so there we're now at uh, 16, 15, 16, 17, 18 actually. 18 centimeters. And let's see what we get as a, a volume. Get the big stuff out first. Take this to a thousand mLs. Save that. It's about a thousand right there. Bring back this guy. This in. Four. About a hundred there. component. Okay, so we've got a thousand, we've got a hundred, and we've got 17. So 1,117. One, one. That was actually a pretty big jump. So that was a 98. Uh, I do believe that's probably has a lot to do with uh, my marks on the uh, grad on the sides here. Uh, but we got a ballpark on these volumes. Uh, you might want to do the whole thing. Uh, you don't have to, but basically get an average and that will be your count, okay? So that's basically what you need to do is get the volume of this. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing for this guy as well. Um, so, let's go back here. I've got a thousand mLs. Let's pour it to our uh, five mark. Okay, conveniently we started with a thousand I now actually have uh, 700 so for the small bottle from zero centimeters which we got zero and now five centimeters which would be looking at the volume that I dropped 700 so that would be 300 mls see if we get the same 300, another 300 mLs when we drop it to the next line. So go to 10. Hopefully we're not going to because the base is a little bit different. Okay, and now we are at 225 or 220. So from uh, 300 to 220, so from 700 to 220, what are we looking at there? 300 and do this in my head. <laughs> I should be able to do this so quickly in my head. 700 to 200, so 470, 480, 470. We go with that. So 10 centimeters equals 4, 480, right? Right? 7 to, yep, okay. Uh, now we gotta go to our last one. I'm not going to have enough here, so we're going to do the 100 first, and I'll just pour it into the 100 so we have. So that is one, oops, let me pull this out of the way so you can see. So that is 100 I just put in. Put in another, actually, you know what? Let's make our lives a lot easier. Let's just fill this all the way up, and then pour it into the graduate cylinders. 
problem with that is right at the top. So we might have some spillage here. So be careful with this. Up to the top. There is no way I'm gonna pour this without spilling. Which means we probably should have done it the other way around. But I will try. So that's a thousand. You don't actually lose that much. That's a hundred, so that's eleven hundred. This is extra. Probably more than that. So actually. We know this is a hundred. The last of it. I'd say seventy-seven. So a total of fifteen centimeters. One thousand one hundred and seventy-seven. Did I say seventy-seven? Seventy-seven. So that gives you the volume of uh, the base here. It gives you the volume because what's going to happen is ultimately the water is going to be pouring out of this and you want to know how much is coming out. Okay. So that in essence is what we're going to do for the, uh, uh, for the volumetric component of it. There's one more thing that you need to do to set yourself up for uh, next week. And let's actually fill this up with soil. Uh, I did make a recommendation here. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but I did make a recommendation for paper towel. And that recommendation is because of just this thing. What I would like you guys to do, and we're basically gonna be using these as pots. What I'd like you guys to do is basically fill this pot up to the 15 centimeter mark. Uh, and you're basically just gonna, you've gone out and you've gotten some soil. And so I wanna take a few moments to talk about where this, uh, where you should get your soils. I'm taking this out of one of my raised beds. Um, I'm highly suggesting that you use an A, A horizon soil, some of the soil that you're going to be growing stuff in. Uh, ultimately, we are going to be growing seeds in this, so you probably want to have a soil that's fairly productive. Um, I got a couple of recommendations of what types of soils that you should do, um, but you probably don't want to have a clay in here, uh, just so the exercise works fairly well. Um, so go to your backyard, go to the a garden, go to a park or anything like that. Um, and then basically you're going to take this material and you're basically going to fill up. Probably should do this. What? Yeah, I know I'm messy. Down. Now, once you've got, you think you've got it filled, you notice how it's a little bit above that mark, just tap it. Just tap it down. Um, you don't want to make this compacted, but just sort of tap it down so that it's actually filling in everything. You notice it's a little bit of headspace still there. Just take some more soil, fill that in. Take that one piece of organic matter out. Um, tap it a little bit. Take a look approximately 15 centimeters. This will very nicely sit very sweetly right into this container. Um, and what we're gonna do now is we're basically gonna let this sit for a week. Uh, I would like you to put it near a light or near a window or something like that because we really want this soil to dry out. Because ultimately, when we're done, we're gonna have a bulk density measurement. And bulk density measurement is just a measurement of the soil, not the water. Now, ideally, we would put this into an oven and boil the water out. But because this is soda bottle science, I'm not gonna be putting any plastic bottles in an oven. And so we're just gonna let a week go by and let it air dry. And then next week, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a little bit more with our soda bottle science, okay? And with that, 
You guys have an awesome day.